My favorite case for the iPad has to be the Mag Easy Case 2 for the iPad Pro and the Mag Easy Folio for the iPad Pro. Now the reason why I love this case so much for my iPad Pro is because it allows your iPad to actually be a tablet again. Let me explain. I use the Magic Keyboard for my iPad Pro and it's great. It works well, the keys are responsive, it has the best trackpad in an iPad case in my opinion but it has one major flaw. When you wanna use your iPad as an actual tablet, yeah, you can just remove it, but now there's no case protecting your iPad. And there's no way to fold the Magic Keyboard over and use it as a tablet. And you can't just detach the keyboard and use the iPad Pro that way. But that's where the Pataka Mag Easy case and folio comes in. This case is pretty much just a back cover, but it has magnets built in that allow you to attach it to the Magic Keyboard, and the case is really thin, so it doesn't really affect the functionality of the Magic Keyboard. You can still close it and use it as you normally would, but now when you detach it from the Magic Keyboard, you still have a case on your iPad for protection. Now it doesn't protect the front of the iPad, but that's where the Mag Easy Folio comes in. It's a magnetic folio case that you can attach the Mag Easy case to, and it works a lot like a normal iPad case that protects the display as well as the back. You can easily detach the iPad Pro with the case on it and reattach it, and the magnets on here are pretty strong. I haven't had any issues where the iPad has accidentally fallen out, and it protects the iPad pretty well. Now for the Mag Easy case, or really cover, it's sort of this carbon fiber look to it. It's a fairly thin case, but you kind of expect that because it still needs to fit inside the Magic Keyboard and be able to function normally. On the left side, you can see that the iPad is kind of exposed, but that's to make sure that it fits inside the Magic Keyboard. And on the right side, you have this flat area with magnets, and that allows you to still attach the Apple Pencil and charge it up, so it's not gonna affect the way your Apple Pencil works as well. For the Mag Easy Folio, you get things like auto sleep wake function when you open up the cover. And of course, just like any folio, the tri-fold front cover can fold up and provide different viewing angles for the iPad. Look, I love the Magic Keyboard, but there's times where I just wanted to use the iPad Pro not as a laptop replacement, but an actual tablet. And this case allows you to do that. When you detach it, you still have the protection, and when you don't want to use the Magic Keyboard or you don't want to take it with you, you can just slap on the folio and use it that way. The folio is going to be able to protect the display, and of course the case is going to protect the back of the iPad. Now this case isn't cheap. You can get both the folio and the case on Amazon for $110. Now if you buy the case itself, it's going to cost $70, which is really expensive when you actually feel this case. It's just a thin piece of plastic. It's made well, but it's just a thin case and that costs $70. The Mag Easy Folio is $40, but if you buy both, Amazon currently has it on sale for $80 for both the folio and the case. So I definitely think it's worth going with both of these if you were to purchase either one. And look, even though these aren't cheap, I think this is probably the best case you can find if you use a Magic Keyboard. I honestly didn't wanna remove a case from my iPad Pro to attach it to a Magic Keyboard and constantly be doing that. And yes, you might think that the price for this thin cover is kind of ridiculous, and it is. I'm with you on that. But it does something that I think is really useful and it's worked great for me. So if you have the money to drop close to $100 on a case for your iPad Pro, I definitely think this case is worth it. But I'll leave a link to the case and the folio in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Let me know what's your favorite iPad Pro case. Leave a comment down below letting me know which one you prefer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos, and I'll see you on the next one.